Good morning. Today we're with the flower guy and we're putting together beehives. I'm not gonna say I'm the most experienced at all, but however, we did get these on a grant and I have never put together beehives in my life. It comes with some directions, but that wasn't the case for me. I couldn't exactly figure the directions out. You wanna see the directions? Right here, single page, front and back. Not that it's a bad thing or a disadvantage. It helps me learn what and where everything goes, that's for sure. Like I'm actually having to learn that these are supers, this is a hive body, and the things that are going in are the uh, the trays. I, I don't know what they are, you guys know. What are they? Leave it down in the description. So I am learning by experience. Everything that I'm doing is probably going to be a mistake. So what I want you guys to do is make sure that you're my mentor, for sure. I know there's a ton of you out there that have bees. If you remember from my last video, you would know that I have created a place over at our house on the hill to be able to uh, have beehives. And that's where the wildflowers are. And we got those from Haas Seed. We put a ton of wildflowers out. I think it was about a pound and a half in a 7,500 square foot area. And we just covered it. Um, we're gonna have electric fences around these things. But for now, we just need to get them together. Our bees are coming less than a week and a half. And within that week and a half, we're actually going somewhere. And so we're gonna be gone for three days. We're gone for three days to take a little family vacation before it gets hectic and busy. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, it's already been hectic and busy from this point. The other night I was um, tilling in the dark. And here's a picture just to show you that I was. It's like, it was crazy. I was trying to get everything done because we have only a limited amount of time to get everything planted. And not just that, but these beehives need to be set. They need to have a good position. And I don't want to rush it. I really don't. Marina and I have been wanting to do this for quite some time now. We were allotted in a grant for four of these hives, right? So you only see two at the moment right here. It's because we gave some to a friend and that friend was helping us get bees. So it was a good trade. Also, it was a benefit and a feature. We can help each other out and she's only right over the hill from us, probably only three or four driveways down. So that makes it good to have somebody that's already got bees. Oop. Okay, I got the super put together. This is what goes on top of there, just as you see here pictured. So I have this uh, as the hive body, then I have this as the super, but inside of it, I've already built some of these. So those are built. I don't know if I have those nails in correctly. Do they need to be glued in? I don't know, you guys tell me. You know, if you like puzzles, this might be the thing for you because it's really easy put, to put together it's about self-explanatory for that particular part. I got these beehives from Miller Bee Supply. It's a place down in Western North Carolina and they have a great website, easy to navigate. And the ladies on the phone was easy to talk to for customer service. And I think that's what sells the product itself. But okay, so I got these from there and they, I mean, they look good. As, as far as the wood quality and things like that, they look great to me. Um, and then it, it came with everything. I think it was like three or four hundred dollars for the two hives. Maybe it was like a hundred and eighty dollars, maybe for each hive. So it's three hundred and sixty. I think I budgeted out like five or six hundred dollars for uh, the actual bees, and I think I paid one ninety five for two nukes, one ninety five a piece for two nukes, and then I paid like one eighty or something like that for these. So I was right around five twenty or something uh, after it was all said and done. You know, I was just thinking, I wanted to tell you the story of how the bees actually came about and, and how we actually figured out that there was a grant for bees. In the summertime, I trade for food, literally. I trade for food. So 
What I mean by that is like in the summer when I have abundant amount of flowers, I actually, there's a place in town and he has a, re a local restaurant and he likes to stand out for his quality of his, uh, his product. So anyways, I go over there, I take him a whole bucket of flowers, he puts them on all the tables and I give him fresh flowers every week. So one day I was taking fresh flowers in and there was a lady and a man that were that was also walking in that owns a local yoga shop or yoga place and they said those are beautiful flowers do you grow them and they started asking me questions and where i lived and what i did and you know I, I told them i was a flower farmer and this is what i do and they said and they looked at each other and they said how would you like to fill out a grant for some beehives well the actual the actual grant is out of florida and i was like yeah, I would love to. The actual grants out of Florida and they said I would be the person for this district to get the beehives. And so all I had to do is take pictures and validate and send an application in to prove that I was justifying with like a business license and things like that. And sure enough, like a month and a half later after everything was said and done, they these are the beehives from last year. And it was a little late in the season getting into it, but I asked them, I said, hey, can I just push this over until next spring? Because it doesn't seem like I'm going to have a good honey production and things like that. After speaking with some people who actually knew about it. And they said, yeah, that's fine. Just make sure that the money's allocated towards that. So anyways, that's what we're doing right now. And then I'll take pictures after I'm finished and I'll send them over to her. And she'll see that it has an electric fence around it, which was required. She'll also see that the these are built and that's that's exactly how I got it and I know that I don't maybe go for everything but if you're doing what your passion is and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing I feel like there's going to be opportunity in front of us in front of me in front of anybody watching behind the camera all right so here's one of my frames that I built and then I realized that I didn't have the right comb to put in it or the actual tray or whatever this is called that goes in it I'm telling you guys I am not a professional at this I'm learning as I go and I think the best way to learn something is by the experience of doing it and maybe, and maybe messing up. All right, so we got that. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna build some frames out in just a few minutes. This is an eight frame hive. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what that is, you can get them in different sizes. And this is the one I picked. I think it's most standard. I don't know. I think eight or a 10 frame hive is most standard. So we're gonna be building out some frames in just a minute. I just got the, uh, the super and the hive body built. We're gonna put our base on it and see what happens. All right, as I'm doing this, why in the world are we trying to harvest honey from bees? Or why are we even just gonna have honey bees in general? Well, for one, we like to keep away as much sugar in our house as possible. I know that always doesn't work, but sugar is a horrible thing for the body. And especially for me, I know I'm young, but I've already got arthritis and a lot of things and I know when I've had a ton of sugar. So that's one thing that I want. I want natural as possible uh, sugar. So if we have natural possible sugar, we can do that. Another one would be to hybridize some dahlias. At the end of the year, when they start and the, the dahlias start to open up a lot more and you start to see the center ring and they start pollinating, I'd like to sort of cross pollinate to see what happens and to get some seed from that and to see what the results are for the next year. I've got the bottom screen put here right now. I'm guessing the next thing would be the hive body. And there's certain ways they sit. So they have a ridge inside of them right here. Um, for the frame so you have that sitting in one square i've heard these things can be like a couple of hundred pounds now i don't know if 500 pounds but i'd say at least 300 after this thing's finished so that would be heavy 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 so i'm gonna have to make sure that it's sitting on some sort of center block and the idea here for me is that for ants and everything coming up from below to try to get up here or mice or whatever it might be i'm going to build a lip out of some sheet metal and like bend it where they cannot get underneath of it. Have the top that goes on it. 
And for the ones that are already building beehives, let's make fun of this guy because eh, we don't really know what we're doing. So it's pretty cool though that just anybody can hop on this and and have something cool like this. I cannot wait to see like the little bees flying in. It's a weird little thing, right? So for some reason, they sent me a ton of little nails and a bunch of uh, bigger nails. I don't know exactly which ones to use because I was concerned on the frames. They were like falling apart when I picked them up. So maybe I have the wrong ones in the frame itself. I don't know. I guess it's all trial and error. That took me about a couple hours to build the first time go around. I wanted to build it though, so I wasn't entirely embarrassed on YouTube <laughs> to be able to have one done and not try to figure it out as I'm like sitting in front of you guys uh, with no knowledge. Okay, so they just go together pretty simple. But one thing I don't understand, and maybe you guys know and can you tell me, but it's got all these holes down the side. And I don't, like when it, you, you uh, put it together, cause it's got like the seam that fits snug. Once you put it together, it's like, why do you have those nail holes? Because all it is is a frame, it's, it's the wax part. So do you put nails down through there? Or is that the very small ones that go there? I don't know. One thing I forgot to get out of the car was the actual, uh, the bigger portion of the frames itself. I guess it's the wax, maybe? Oh, I'm gonna need help. These right here, they wrapped them up nicely, and I love the way they smell. I love the way they smell. I guess that didn't take too much time to build. I built these eight frames out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. Which is a little concerning because I put all small nails in these ones. So I might have to take them back. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to take them back out. They're falling out. I guess that's a rookie beginner mistake. See, look at this. And that barely goes to... whoa there was a wasp in there holy moly he knew what he wanted all right so i guess i need to take all those out that's not going to work at all okay i finally got all those built i have eight of those built i just done 16 total for the supers i mean for the hive body the supers they keep getting me confused the supers are the small ones that go on top when they need to build more so, I think I have what it takes to just start the process now. I know it's not all the way finished, but it's a good start. I, may, I, did, I don't know if I made it look easy, but for the person who wants to have bees but feels intimidated by it, let me be the person to tell you I know nothing about it and I'm going after it. The beehive build was fairly simple and if you like everything that you're seeing and it's entertaining or encouraging or educating hey make sure that you smash that like button because that's what keeps us going for the algorithm to support this channel one last thing we're expanding but more so i would call it rebuilding the growth of something and if you feel like that you want to support more than watching on youtube and you want to partner with us i'm going to leave a couple of links in the description um, so a list that we, we're going to definitely need to get in the next month. We, we're trying to build the water in here. We need cedars in here. We need all sorts of things. And that's what we're definitely going to have to buy to be able to make this place um, cost efficient. We're even going to have to buy a reefer van or build something out. And right now we're looking into an enclosed trailer that we can build out. We're looking at a brand new one down in North Carolina right now. And it's big decisions in the next couple of weeks. It's almost like the make it or break it situation. From last year to this year, we have put the foraging on the side for this up right now in this season. So we can be uh, planting in here. But I will tell you, it is possible to be a full-time flower farmer. Stick around till next time because we want to grow beautiful things together.